Hello Aquarius, welcome to Divine Conversations and welcome to your general energy reading. Thank you all so very much for tuning in. If you are new here, hello, my name is Eric. It is wonderful to meet you. And if you are returning, what is up squad? All right, Aquarius, let's get into this. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node Aquarians. Please keep in mind, guys, that this is a general reading. So please take what resonates and leave what doesn't, as everything is not going to resonate for everyone. If you would like to get a personal reading with me, I am available for that. Check the information in the description box below, where you will find a list of the readings that I offer, including my email address. Shoot me an email, let me know you're interested, and I will be more than happy to get you all hooked up. Please keep in mind, guys, that this is also a timeless reading. There are no dates associated with this. Whenever you are guided to watch this reading and it resonates, then that's the message for you in that moment. Uh, follow me on Instagram and Twitter. The links to that can be found in the description box below as well. And as always, please make sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe if you haven't done so already. Yeah? All right, Aquarius, we're going to get into this here for you. Two more shuffles. That's one. Last shuffle for my Aquarians, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node. Let's get into this and see what messages we have for you at this time, Aquarius. What's at the bottom of the deck? The Eight of Cups. Okay. Walking away from something. I just heard starting a new, starting over. Uh, I also just heard reality check. Uh-oh. Okay. This, uh, Aquarius, this feels like somebody got a reality check. Um, and it feels like someone is being forced to walk away from something or someone. I'm going to be completely honest with you, Aquarius. This feels like a breakup. And what I'm seeing is a masculine and a feminine entity or energies. Uh, these are, um, doesn't have to be a man or a woman. Um, it could be, it could be, it could be a man or a, and a woman, although the man is embodying the feminine aspects, the woman embodies the, the, the masculine aspects, or it could be a same sex couple two men, two women. It doesn't matter. I'm seeing a dynamic between a masculine and a feminine who were in some sort of romantic relationship with each other. Of course, it doesn't necessarily have to be romantic. It could be some sort of platonic relationship. Take it as it resonates. This really is just figuratively speaking. I'm just describing to you what I'm seeing in this energy. And um, there were trouble. There was trouble. There were discrepancies in the relationship and the feminine got fed up and the feminine actually decided to end the situation. The masculine came back, either came back or made some sort of offer or said something or took some sort of action to try and get the situation off the ground again or get the situation going again. And that's where the reality check came into, to, into the picture because the feminine reacted or responded in some way in which it gave that masculine a real reality check in terms of recognizing that all he really could do is just walk away from the situation. Unfortunately, walk away from the situation with their tail between their legs, because at this point, there is no fixing this. The only thing that, this, that you could do at this point on behalf or in terms of the masculine individual, the only thing you could do at this point is walk away from this situation and work on healing yourself or fixing whatever needs to be fixed within yourself so that, the, so that this does not get recreated so that you can have a better opportunity or a better relationship with someone else in the near future. But something about this situation, Aquarius, is causing somebody to literally have to walk away like you have no choice. There is no fixing this, there is no healing this, there is no resurrecting the situation. And in some cases, also just to continue describing what I'm seeing in this energy, in some cases, um, the way that the feminine responded to the masculine's, I guess we could call it proposal, was so strong. Like, in some cases, this masculine individual is was so seemingly insensitive or seemingly, like, blind or, like, have you lost your mind? Like, there was something about... 
the proposal that this masculine made or the response that this masculine made or the retort or the the um conclusion or the the suggestion that they made to fix the situation it like it made the feminine see red because it was like it, it, it and I, I'm not I'm not taking sides. I'm not passing judgment. I'm just telling you, what, describing to you what I'm seeing here. What I'm hearing, the dominant thing that I'm hearing coming from this feminine is how could you be so insensitive? Of course, we are speaking of, of Aquarian energy. Aquarian energy does have a tendency to be the most emotionally detached out of, out of all the zodiac, even out of all the air signs. So there is, yes, there is possibly a level of insensitivity that come, that came, like, I don't know what this person said, but they were, but the feminine was like, was like, she lost her mind. And, and this might have been quite extreme or quite scary because this may have been, this feminine may have been the type of individual to keep their cool or not lose their mind like this, but there was something so out of line <laughs> There was some sort of suggestion that was made by this masculine that was so out of line that this feminine lost her shit. <laughs> and that, but see, but it got the point across that there was no salvaging this situation. There was no healing this situation. You just need like, a, 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 or, or maybe there was a chance at salvaging it and healing it, but this masculine royally fucked up. And now you literally have no choice but to just walk away with your tail between your legs. All of that just came from the Eight of Cups. Ooh. Okay. Let's continue. So, what's go? Do you like? Do you like this massive hole in my sweatshirt that I'm realizing that I've been wearing, and everybody can see? Whatever. This is one of my favorite sweatshirts and it's comfortable. So like if you don't like it, exit stage right. <laughs> okay, here we go. What's going on? What's going on for Aquarius? Three cards, please, spirit. What's going on for Aquarius at this time? What messages do we have for Aquarius at this time? First card we have is the seven of pentacles. And the, all I can say about that is you made your bed, now you have to lie in it. This is harsh, man. I'm sorry. I don't want I don't mean to be this harsh, but like Spirit's like, you told everything already, Eric. We ain't got nothing else to say. Ace of Cups. One last card for Aquarius, please, Spirit. One last card for Aquarius. And the Four of Cups reversed. Oof. Overall energy. That Eight of Cups. Okay. Um... I feel like I'm talking to the masculine now. And if you're a feminine that is cross-watching for this masculine, I highly encourage you to share this reading or share this video with that masculine. Even if, especially if they're not into watching Tarot, like, I don't give a shit. I, I don't care. I, I, send this to them, please. Because they're, cause what we're about to be talking about is for this masculine, okay? Masculine. Yes, you have in fact made your bed and now you need to lie in it. The seven of pentacles. And why do I say that? Because the seven of pentacles is a checkpoint. The seven of pentacles is that moment where you put a lot of time, attention and effort into your harvest here. And, I, and now you just have to wait for the fruit of your labor to grow and ripen. But this is a twofold situation. This is that checkpoint because you get to assess whether or not you're going in the right direction by seeing what the fruits of your labor have been thus far. Are you receiving something that you want? Yes? Excellent. Keep going in the same light or in the same way. No? Okay, then something's got to change. But also, this is that energy of you've made your bed, now you lie in it because you have done, you've, you've put forth the time, attention, effort, and energy into whatever it is that has been produced now. So, in essence, you can't take it back. All you can really do is trash the whole thing and start all over if that's what's necessary. And that's what seems to be necessary here. The next card you have is the Ace of Cups.
your good old friend, emotion. Look, Aquarius, I understand that you are naturally emotionally detached. You are the kings and queens of emotional detachment, especially if you're an Aquarius moon, okay? However, that does not give you an express right to be insensitive. It doesn't. It does not give you an excuse to be insensitive, especially if you're going to be interacting with other people, especially if you're going to be in a relationship, a romantic relationship with somebody. Now, why are you so easily emotionally detached? Because your energy at its core, Aquarian energy, is all about revolutionizing things and making things balanced, equal, balanced and equal for all parties wherever they find themselves in life, meaning you are, you are the humanitarian type of energy, okay? You go into a situation, you assess the situation from a clear and objective and emotionally detached point of view, regardless as to how terrible the situation is for that person or those people, you are not getting emotionally invested. You are going in there, you are assessing the situation for what it is, and you are making the clear choices in how to improve that situation for those individuals. If you were to get emotionally invested, you would never get any of your work done. So, okay, that makes perfect sense. But Aquarius, that does not give you the right, that does not give you an excuse to be insensitive. To not have to deal with emotions in the proper times. And when is the most proper of times, Aquarius? When you're in a romantic relationship with someone. I understand if you have trouble with this. But that's where the Four of Cups in reverse comes in. Because it seems, Aquarius, you have been actively refusing to accept any sort of emotional value or emotional conditioning. You have been actively rejecting any sort of association with emotion. And yet you keep getting into romantic relationships with people. I don't understand. I don't understand Aquarius. You can't have it both ways. If you're going to be romantically involved with an individual, then you need to be able to handle, face, deal with, accept emotions. There's no two ways about that. There's no other way around that. You may be fine being emotionally detached, but that doesn't mean your partner is fine with that. I'm not, and I'm also not saying that you have to completely reshape yourself just to be with somebody. No. You are, you do have the opportunity or you do have the ability to align with someone that maybe doesn't value emotions as much. But if you're going to be in a romantic relationship with another human being, there is a level of emotion that you are going to have to accept. Even within yourself. See, oh, now as I'm talking through this Aquarius... You may have trouble accepting your own emotions, let alone accepting someone else's. That's where this also, where this Ace of Cups comes in. So that's also where the healing aspect of this situation comes into play here. Because yes, you have to walk away from this. There is no, there's no, there's no two ways about it. No if, ands, or buts about it. You have to walk away from this situation. It's done. It's over. But in you walking away from this situation, now you have the opportunity to start to build an, a, 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 a relationship with your own emotions. That's where you're going to start. Ace of Cups. Because the Ace of Cups is all about self-love and the love that the, that the divine pours down into us that fills our cup and then allows us to provide or, or disseminate that overflow to the rest of us, to the rest of the people around but you can't do that until your cup is full. And your cup, you've been actively pouring your cup out. Four of cups in reverse. What's all this emotion in here? I don't need this emotion in here. Get this emotion out of here. Pour your cup out. Come on, Aquarius. You're doing a disservice to yourself at that point. You are a human being, Aquarius. 
You are not some sort of lifeless robot who doesn't have emotions. You do have emotions. You need to honor those. Let's talk about the Seven of Pentacles. Seven of Pentacles for Aquarius, please, Spirit. Temperance. Boop. There are some extremes in this situation, Aquarius. All of this is a learning experience. You could look at this as a, as a way of the universe facilitating a way for you to get some balance in terms of your emotions and your dis <laughs> disassociation from them. I feel like this is an opportunity for you to learn when the appropriate time is to be emotionally invested and then to disassociate from your emotions. That's really the balance that is trying to be struck here, okay? Seven of Pentacles for Aquarius, please, Spirit. Yeah. One more card here. The Hanged Man. One more card for Aquarius and the Seven of Pentacles, please. And Justice. You might be dealing with a Libran. You also might be dealing with a Sagittarian. Uh, if you're dealing with a Sagittarian man, I understand the way they blew up like you, like that on you. I absolutely understand that. And I also, I mean, like, Libra is an air sign as well, but Libra has a better, mm, I would say Libra is your opposite in terms of this dissociation. Like, they can dissociate from their own emotions, but it's other people's emotions that they have trouble disassociating from. Okay. Overall energy here is the Three of Cups. That's interesting. What I'm getting from this Three of Cups energy is that you feel like an outcast. You feel like an outsider looking in. You always have. Maybe this is an effect. Maybe, maybe Aquarius, you have disassociated from your emotions or from emotions altogether so drastically because... You have always been a kind of outcast, a kind of weirdo, which is very, which is very much um, uh, something that Aquarians often deal with. You've just been so out there that people misjudged you. Um, they criticized you. They labeled you. Uh, they 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 pushed you out. They made you as in, they. They kept you on the outside. They made you in, into an outsider, an outcast, whatnot, whatever. And thus, you disassociated from your emotions in order for you to not have to feel that pain any longer. Okay. But. Do you see where that has gotten you at this point, though? Aquarius. A change in perspective is happening here. The hanged man. Now to justice. And I really feel like, Aquarius, this justice has more to do with you than whomever else we were talking about here or whatever relationship you're having to walk away from. This justice is for yourself. Because all of this right here is bringing, is getting your emotions back online. Okay? And that's why I feel like temperance here is representing a level of extremes. Because at one point, and maybe this started out when you were a kid, you were ostracized, labeled as a weirdo and a freak. And so you decided to disassociate from emotion altogether. Okay? So the pendulum effectively swang from one air, from, oh no, no, you were in the center. I guess we could say. And then you disassociated and the pendulum swung to one, to one side of the extreme. And now the pendulum is swinging back to the center, back to the other side of extreme, the extreme where now you're being forced to face some sort of emotional reality. And no, it's not easy. But it's meant to bring you back towards equilibrium. Temperance. All through the experiences that are changing your perspective, the hanged man, and are ultimately bringing justice into your life. Okay. Last thing I want to clarify here is the Ace of Cups for you, Aquarius. Clarify this Ace of Cups, please, sir, for my Aquarius.
The lover's in reverse. Wow. Clarify the Ace of Cups for Aquarius, please. Page of Wands. One last card. Clarify the Ace of Cups for Aquarius, please. And Three of Pentacles. Overall energy is the Nine of Wands. All right. Interesting. Interesting, interesting, interesting. All right, uh, bear with me for a second. Let me sit with this for a moment. The Lovers is reversed here. That's a Gemini energy. Oh, uh, okay, all right, okay. So the Lovers is representing um, a past energy. And this really does feel like, this lovers in reverse here feels like a rejection of yourself. A rejection of your right to choose. I feel like you fell back on some sort of uh, logical explanation, which, okay, it, it, that makes sense for an Aquarian energy, okay. Um, but what I mean by that is... Um, you did, the lovers in reverse is a full rejection of emotion. This is you saying, look, I don't have a choice in this situation. I don't, I don't want to feel this way. I don't want this pain. I am, I am rejecting. I am completely rejecting my right to choose. I am rejecting my right to be an individual. I am rejecting my right, my right to free will. And I'm just saying no more emotion. Cutting that off completely. But this Ace of Cups energy is influencing you to reface that, that, that moment that you made that choice. And now, instead of completely rejecting your right to choose, your right to free will, your right to honor yourself, now you are coming out of that singing a different tune, Page of Wands to the Three of Pentacles, and this time you're going to work on yourself. This time you're going to honor yourself. This time you are going to give yourself the love, the respect, the care that you actually truly deserve. I'm going to say this to you, Aquarius, and I really hope whomever it was that you were dealing with before that, that blew and this situation blew up in your face and you were forced to walk away from this. I really hope that person sent you this, this reading because to be quite honest with you and no offense to the person that you were with before. Okay, especially if you're still watching this, but I'm talking to the Aquarian, all right? That was one of the best situations you could have ever experienced in your life. Why? Because it catalyzed all of this. It catalyzed you coming out of this wounded warrior energy of feeling battered and bruised and always looking over your shoulder because of the abuse that people put upon you because you were weird. It catalyzed you coming out of that and loving yourself again. So I really hope someone did send this to you if you needed to hear it because you deserve to be loved. You absolutely deserve to be loved. And quite frankly, the person that blew up at you like this and you were forced to walk away from, the reason why they got so angry, Aquarius, if you haven't figured it out already, the reason why they got so angry was because they love you and they were trying to love you. But they weren't going to allow themselves to be used, abused, taken advantage of, and not loved themselves. Okay. But you deserve this love too. You deserve to feel loved. You deserve to be honored and respected. Fuck any of those people that, that called you weird, that made you into an outcast. Screw them. Learn, learn to love yourself, Aquarius. That's what this is all about. So yeah. It may not have felt good at the time. It may have been really embarrassing, super humiliating at the time. You really may have walked away from the situation with your tail all up in between your legs. But honestly, Aquarius, this was the exact right thing that needed to happen to get you to love yourself again. That is the point here. Okay. Closing Oracle Guidance is coming from... The Love Your Inner Goddess Oracle deck. And I recognize and realize that we're, I realize that we are speaking to a masculine energy here for the most part. 
but it's the it's the aspect the element of loving yourself that is prominent in this deck so that's why spirit is calling for me to use it also in terms of learning to love yourself and in terms of speaking to a masculine individual whether it's a man or a woman it doesn't matter this also has to do with you accepting your your inner femininity which is where that emotion is seated okay is resting within Three shuffles. One. Two. And three. Closing Oracle Guidance for my Aquarian Spirit. Oops. Good Lord, Eric. Stop hitting the camera. <laughs> Closing Oracle Guidance for my Aquarians. There it is. Oh, beautiful. Card number 31, Magdalene, you are stronger than you think. Which means you can handle emotion. Mm -hmm. All right, in a reading, this card says, you can experience a feeling of being completely reborn, like a, metaphysic, like, a, like a mythical phoenix rising, rising from the ashes of, one, of what once was, the past completely burned away. It is not about forgetting the past, but it is the reality that the past doesn't have any hold over you. You're being given a spiritual blessing from deep within your heart to cast off anything and everything, without exception, from the past that does not bring you peace. The universe wants to take it from you, so let it go. There is now a brand new you, clean, fresh, and ready to start again with the protective grace of the divine all around you and within you, shining bright and true. Be beautiful. Beautiful. There you have it, Aquarius. Thank you all so very much for tuning in. I really, truly hope this was helpful for you, even though the delivery was a little harsh at times. But please know that I love you, and I just... I just I just love you. If you would like a private reading with me, a personal reading with me, I am available for that. Check the information in the description box below where you will find a list of the readings that I offer, including my email address. Shoot me an email letting me know you're interested and I will be more than happy to get you all hooked up. Uh, please make sure to follow me on Instagram and Twitter. The links to that can be found in the description box below as well. And if you would like to gain extra content with me throughout the month and maybe even get some discounts on your personal readings, either a 10%, a 20% or discount or one reading per month with me, uh, depending on which uh, tier you subscribe to, Check us out. Check the Unicorn Hurt out on Patreon, patreon.com slash divine conversations. The link to that can be found in the description box below as well. Thank you to all of my current patrons. Without you and your support, I would not be able to be here. With that said, Aquarius, please make sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe if you haven't done so already. But I am sending you so much love and I look forward to connecting with you again for our next reading very, very soon. Yes? Excellent. Bye.